guys. Okay, so we had the vasectomy reversal and um, it's almost been a month and he has already got sperm return. <laughs> um, I know that I said that I was going to record the event and all that and I started to record on the trip and then it came time to when my husband straight up said, hell no, like I don't want anybody seeing this like no so I had to respect his wishes on this one because he was getting the bisectomy reversal so we could have babies so <laughs> I had to give him this one um so we had it done July 26th and it went perfectly I absolutely love the doctor that did it Dr. Golden in Spokane Washington and we weren't expecting like we weren't expecting like as good good as it is the semen come back as it is because when he did it um he came out and he told me he's like he's got really great flow he's like real good flow um and sperm on both sides good blood flow good fluid fast and good mobile sperm he's like so what he's he's gonna have sperm already so we were like okay and we kind of weren't believing it because uh s statistically <laughs> And statistic wise um, it usually doesn't come back for about the first three months is when they say it starts to build up and stuff um, so we were actually really surprised and so when we got home about two weeks ago we could yeah about two weeks ago um, I decided to test his sperm anyways just to see and we did the at-home sperm test and um, you can pick that up at your local like Walmart Walgreens whatever for like 40 bucks and it came up positive for he had 20 million per milliliter or something like that but he was at normal range already but it doesn't tell you about like if how mobile they are or if they're dead or if they're like missing tails or deformed heads or something like that and that is normal in sperm getting a vasectomy reversal um so I decided to get a scope and tell us a microscope and because I wanted to see since that came up positive for him having sperm so soon <laughs> which we knew was gonna happen because of what the doctor told us but I just wanted to you know and so I will insert that video of my hubby's amazing swimmers <laughs> When they want maximum emotional impact, you. Oh crap! Look at my swimmers, guys. It's change I can't undo. Now that I'm away from you, I know more than ever I can't be happy without you. I love it. Good. I plagiarized that last part from a letter for hero to my grandma. All right. Jorge. It's brilliant. I hereby award you, Jane. Mm. The pure surprise. <laughs> okay, so there's his amazing swimmers, and it is just amazing. But I will, and I, you know, it's good to go. I am so happy, and that wasn't even a 24 hour like hold because we're supposed to go back for a semen analysis where they tell us about mobility and stuff like that, and supposed to hold it for uh two days to get a full count now that wasn't even two days because we baby danced the night before i actually scoped and so i can just imagine how much more little babies there would be in there <laughs> well sperm <laughs> little babies i can just imagine how much more sperm would be in there if we actually did like a 24 hour to 48 hour hold because that video that I showed you is really impressive for less than a month like super impressive because shouldn't have that much yet <laughs> and the mobility on how fast they are is just amazing um so yeah so we already started teeth teeth we already started our baby dancing because my um cycle linked up with his time limit after surgery that we could start baby dancing again so my cycle totally linked up so when he was able to start his baby dancing time 
I was in my ovulation week. So, um, and we were supposed to wait like the full two weeks before we baby danced. And, but we actually waited three, yeah, three weeks, three weeks and a couple of days, um, uh, before we started baby dancing. And then I did have him clearing his pipes, um, which is recommended to get out any, um, uh, to get out as much of the dead sperms that have been sitting there. Hey baby. And just get out like just to start the flow of it and get out any dead sperms and any like sperms that we just don't want <laughs> since it's opened back up. So kind of get out all the old soldiers <laughs> that's been sitting there waiting to get out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we did. And he was able to do that for a while. So like I said, we started baby dancing and I am on cycle day. Let me see, 14, 15, five. No, I'm on cycle day. Okay, 18, because I ovulate, I am three days past ovulation and I ovulated on cycle day 14 or 15 because I got positive ovulations on 13 and then 14 and they started to get um, thing but I will put that up in the next video because I actually kept track of this one even though I didn't video it and put it up I did keep track of it and I started keeping track of it um, a more detailed track of it now that we are baby dancing um, because like with my last videos, I wasn't keeping them and like, or anything like that. I was just making sure that I was ovulating when I was supposed to and that my body was doing what it was telling me it was doing. Um, but now I'm keeping track of it. Um, so like I said, so we know when to baby dance. Um, and we've done our baby dancing and I'm three days past ovulation. And so, um, we are, I'm going to start testing on Sunday because I'm supposed to start my cycle again, August 31st or the 1st. And so I should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I start testing on Saturday or Sunday, I am going to be seven or eight days before my period, which you can start getting positives on your um, pregnancy tests. And I will show you guys my pregnancy test, my TTC stash, <laughs> and what it compiles and what's all in it and how I'm keeping track. So that will also be a video that's coming up too. So yes. And then um, we start, uh, I'll make another video for all that. But we've just been really busy since that's been happening. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. my husband's so amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on right now. So sorry we didn't record it. I just decided to respect my husband's wishes since he was doing this. And I just have been letting him kind of, I've been letting him kind of do his slacking on things <laughs> because he got the bisectomy because we couldn't have it. And then he went and got cut a second time. <laughs> I do apologize for that but you guys will be getting um, updates now so the next video that I'm going to be putting up again is um, about my TTT my TTC stash and my ovulation how I'm keeping track of that and then um, I will start doing in about because we're going into Friday Saturday oh in about two days we will start taking <laughs> We actually like we got it like this cycle now I know that some people are gonna be like well it's not possible it's only your first cycle and it takes up to three to three months but some people do get pregnant on their first cycles and I feel very very good <laughs> that we are going to be one of those people because my husband already has a sperm back and you guys see the video and so and it is just he perfect sperm like there's perfect heads there's tails and they are quick <laughs> and then he's he's back my baby's back 
Um, so, and even if we are not pregnant this cycle, I am totally okay with that because then that means we get to keep trying and I get to keep baby dancing with my hubby. So, so yeah. So, you know, I don't, so even if we're not pregnant this cycle, I'm okay with that. Like, I, I'm fine with that um, because I know it will eventually happen. And I am also going to be keeping track, like, I'm going to um, sculpt my husband's, um, semen again I'm gonna say sometime next month because I just want to watch to make sure that he doesn't scar over um, because that is a possibility with a, bisect with a bisectomy reversal is you can scar over to where he, he quits producing sperm and we would have to do a third reversal and the third reversals usually do work like and you don't need another one but um, the doctor assured us that with how good he was flowing and his blood flow and all of that it's not even like we sh don't even have to worry about that like it's a small percentage and with how good his flow and even his blood flow and stuff like that we won't have to worry about that but I but for my reassurance and for my stuff I still want to yeah you can read this one no this isn't a reading book so please put that back in the box And I, you can take out the first reading book in there. That's not the reading book. That's the book for mommy. Um, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm not even, I'm, but for my satisfaction and for my, I just want to scope for like the first year, like once a month, just to make sure, you know, that, um, his sperm productivity <laughs> isn't going down. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's basically what this video is about, and I highly recommend the doctor that we went to. He is amazing. He is fantastic, and as you guys can tell, my husband had his flow back full-blown, like, back up to normal, beyond normal, <laughs> in less than a month, and it just is amazing, and this doctor he has been doing it for years and years and years and years and years and years and years like years and you know what it was worth the money that we saved and emptied our our savings account it was worth it he was totally worth it and so um yeah and his name is dr golden and he is in spokane washington and he's worth it you guys if you guys are looking for a vice for a visectomy reversal doctor a vv or vr he's worth it like he is worth every penny and he does do the semen analysis um so yeah so we have to actually ship that there to him um, um go down there to him or else we can ship it to him but um i don't think we're gonna ship it to him i think we are just actually gonna go down there for his semen and a semen analysis go during the weekend drop it off and come back home um but then I'm like, do we really need to go get it done? Because Mom, I'm, ar I'm already checking it myself. Because I can't find... Yep, you can place it at the table right there. But then you have to clean it up as soon as you're done and put it back on the shelf where it belongs. Okay. Um, so, like, I'm not even worried about, like, getting a semen, semen analysis for my husband because I'm doing it myself. <laughs> here at home. So it's like, yeah, you know. Um, but other than that, guys... Like, I will keep you guys updated, like I said, repeating myself, I'll keep you guys updated, like I said, next video is coming out, and I'm going to show you guys my TTT, -t -t my TT stash, TTC stash, trying to conceive, that's what that means, and then, um, I'm going to show you guys, um, what's all in that, and how I'm keeping track, like, better track of my ovulation now to make sure that we are catching that egg, um, and like I repeat, <laughs> repeat myself. So like I said, um, if we don't conceive this month, I'm totally okay with that. I know it's coming within the next couple of months, so I'm good. Um, and it brings us one step closer to a beautiful smelling little baby. <laughs> like I was just meant to be a baby. <laughs> um, and I love all my babies. Um, so yeah, so that is coming that's going to be in the next video and I'll show you all of that and the scheduling and um yeah and then I will give you guys an update about homeschool to show you guys 
um, because I am, this is my schedule keeper for my homeschool and I have all my stuff in here and like my weekly calendars and just kind of show you guys how I'm keeping track of all of my stuff for homeschooling, for my ovulation, um, for my volunteer, for our volunteer work. We're starting our school academy. So all those videos are coming up next. This is supposed to be up about the uh, bisectomy reversal and why I did not post it for that day. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for my next video uh gonna be in the next couple of days i'll put up the next one um like i said so yeah sorry to repeat myself guys it's just i'm so excited and i just feel completely blessed <laughs> and yeah my hubby is amazing <laughs> and so yeah i will uh you guys back up